Megan, Megan, Megan this way. Megan and Harry's NYC night began with a smile. They turn, they turn, they turn. But ended with a relentless pursuit by paparazzi that some are calling near fatal. They say they were chased for nearly two hours. There were people driving on sidewalks. There were pedestrians nearly hit. And we've since verified the pursuit lasted from 10 to midnight with Megan and Harry's car fleeing paps at 80 miles an hour on a highway. It all started when they left the Women of Vision Awards Gala where Megan was being honored. <laughs> and got into an SUV that Paps zeroed in on. At some point, they actually get out of the SUV and we see them get into uh, a yellow cab. Possibly to blend in with New York's sea of cabs, but it doesn't work. The security guard gets out of the cab and is trying to tell the, the photographers to get away. Guys, let's get some stuff, okay? But the chase continued. They ended up at a police station. And now Megan and Harry are calling the whole thing near catastrophic, a phrase which invokes really tragic memories. Yeah, um, tragic memories of uh, Harry's mom, Princess Diana. Who was, of course, killed in a paparazzi chase in Paris back in 1997. So were they ever in any real peril, or was it just because he has memories of... No, these guys were driving the wrong way on one-way streets. They nearly caused collisions. But I will say, Kim Kardashian is the biggest celebrity in the world. She goes to New York all the time, and like, we've never heard of this happening in New York. And the difference is that they are royals, and they know, and the paparazzi know that their photos will sell way more in Europe. There, and there's one other difference. Exactly what you said, that Kim goes to New York all the time. Harry and Meghan don't. Which makes for a rare photo op and a very dangerous situation. Ah!